Mr. Speaker, with pleasure, I introduce Devoncia Clark of the Kayon High School, a recipient of a remarkable teen award in the category of spiritual commitment. In spite of being mocked and teased as a result of her faith, Devoncia is steadfast in her devotion to God Almighty. She believes that the negativity that she hears can do no harm, for on the inside she knows who she is and to whom she belongs. Devoncia is passionate about her faith and wants to strive. A proud and avid member of the Liberty New Testament Church of God, Clark possesses a mature aura and has a keen sense of responsibility. She is the leader of the Christian club at her school, Kayon High, a member in the Malfil Explorers Club in her community, and gives at the Christian Community Mission. Clark writes songs and wishes to publish in the near future. Currently, she is working on a book entitled Breaking Free. She is joyful that church has resumed, irrespective of the new measures in order to be safe. Devoncia has a message for all to remain steadfast in truth rather than succumb to the superficially obvious. Clark has no regrets as a devout Christian living a purposeful life. She insists that she is willing to do anything to advance in the kingdom of God. May it please you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. And uh, Ms. Clark would be awarded by the, right, by the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Timothy Harris. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise with your leave and I would wish to extend congratulations to all 25 of the honorees. Could we give them all a round of applause? <laughs> On account of COVID, we are here at this church, and I thought how fitting it is tonight that we should start honoring our young people and in this regard, Devoncia Clark comes first to be honored and her area is spiritual commitment. I thought that this was important. And when we listened to and read her profile, we appreciate that Ms. Clark has been through a lot, quite a lot. And there, thanks be to God, she is here standing and shining as one of the 25 most talented and remarkable teens. Give her again a special <laughs> round of applause. I would just want to commend her. Wish her well in the future. I believe her deep spirituality would certainly be the fount and which she must draw as she faces life challenges, difficulties, and opportunities. We hear of her courage, and we are reminded of Esther. We hear of her faith, and we are reminded of Job. Devon Seer has been very close to her father who at this time is in Guyana, and he had gone through a very terrible and frightening ordeal, which must have shook her very foundation. Thanks to her loving mother, Abby, she has been able to hold it together. So her presence here is both a testimony to the strong family values to which she has been introduced by her parents her mother in particular, and so I want to congratulate her. Wish her well, wish the family well, and hope someday her father would gone through that nightmare in his homeland of Guyana will be able to return to his adopted home and to show her and his wife Abby with all the loving care and attention. So it's a pleasure that I now present this token of appreciation to Devoncia Clark, 
25 most remarkable teens in St. Kitts and Nevis, November 2020.